Hi everyone, welcome. I'm really glad you could be here with me today. It's hot here in Texas. As a matter of fact, today it was almost 95 degrees. That's hot. Not fun weather to be outside playing in. Although I did a little bit after work today, but then that was late in the evening. But I've been thinking a lot about fall. I love thinking about fall because the weather cools. The electric bills go down because I can turn off the air conditioning, <laughs> but also because I can start making and utilizing some of my favorite products that I want to share with you too. This is a solid lotion bar. Now I've made these in the past. I've made my shea butter bars for at least 10 years and they're real popular. Well, this is going to be something a little different because I came into all that wonderful bison tallow. I thought, why not utilize it? So I'm going to do it. So it's not just in soap, but it's going to be in this wonderful, wonderful moisturizing bar. So we're going to start out here. We have our liquid oils here. I have 16 ounces of apricot kernel oil and 16 ounces of babasu oil. Here I have 16 ounces of bison tallow, 8 ounces of shea butter, 8 ounces of cocoa butter, 8 ounces of mango butter, and here I have my 32 ounces of beeswax. So together, these are going to create some luscious bars. And as I discussed in a previous video, video. <laughs> yeah, one of those videos. In one of my previous videos, I showed how I'm getting away from plastics and moving toward more renewable items or things that can certainly be recycled. In the past, my aforementioned shea butter bars came in these these wonderful plastic deodorant tubes. Well, in the vein of going renewable, I'm going to be going with these wonderful craft paper push-up tubes. And yes, I added a little bison stamp. I got picked up one of these on Etsy <laughs> so I can stamp each of the, the top of them with the little bison. Pretty cute, isn't he? And uh, I've not used these craft containers myself before. I've read up on them quite a bit and I've seen some pros and I've seen some cons. And in my opinion, the cons that exist are worth the pros. We are cutting down on plastics. We are still maintaining, which I believe is even better quality in our product because when you add hot oils and waxes to plastic, don't think that those plastics don't leach out a tad bit. Do a little reading on this. Craft paper isn't going to leach anything. These are already recycled and we can even recycle them again. What's better than that? So, the first step is to get this stuff melted and combined. So what I've done is I Rather than putting this over the double boiler, I heated my liquid oils and have just added them to the hard butters here to try to melt most of them. The cocoa butter, I mean, or excuse me, the mango butter may be more of a challenge. It melts a little slower in doing it this way. But I like to do it as gentle as possible to try to keep all of those constituents of the different butters waxes together or as close to pure and natural as I can get them and I'm separately heating the beeswax and once the beeswax is ready and this is all melted then we'll combine them and then we can get them in containers now you may wonder what essential oil am I adding to this well I've I was rather torn on this because I've learned recently through several different people that I have sold different lotions to and stuff that there is a burgeoning market or perhaps it was always a market and I wasn't aware of it 
The people that want unscented. So my hard oils are now almost completely melted and I have my beeswax melted here. But I'm realizing that I need a bigger container. <laughs> so I still got a little bit of mango there that's not melted yet. But it's almost. I'm going to add in my beeswax. It the bowl. This is the bowl that's hot. Get that stick out. Get this going in a nice swirl here. Oh. Come on, wax, don't be that way. So I'm going to get the stick blender on this. Renee, I found the perfect use for that pouring ladle that you got me. It's perfect for this. You know what they say? There's a place for everything. There's somebody for everybody and all that kind of stuff. It's true. <laughs> I love this thing, but I haven't found the perfect use for it until today. And I love this. So this has made this so much easier. Because of the high amount of wax in this, this can be a very messy, messy, messy undertaking. But this is making it very clean. And I was real worried because, oh, that's got a little wax in it, because of the uh, paperboard that I would make a real mess. And you can't clean this off the way you can plastic. but. Thank you so much, <laughs> the perfect use. So I'm just gonna go through and fill each of these. So I had this idea, a few of them got some of the oil on the outside and because they're paper, well, they naturally stain. So it occurred to me, the old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. So I'm taking just a tiny bit of the oil and I'm going to go along with it. just continue to go all the way around the tube. And now you no longer have a stained container. You have just a nice dark container. And what's nice about this too is by covering it with this, 
we've actually kind of preserved the outside so that we will be protecting it from stains that could occur. Because inevitably, someone's going to rub this on themselves. By the way, I'll show you how it'll work. You'll simply push it out, like so. There it is. To get it back in, put the lid back on it and press, like so. Press it right back in. There's a little um, I, uh, edge on it that might come off the first time, but other than that, it'll work great. That's really it. Of course, most of the time you're just going to push it up a little bit, rub wherever you need to rub, and then just put the lid back on it, and you're done. Pretty nice, isn't it? I think these are great. This will, uh, we're doing a little something extra for the environment. It's not perfect. Um, I thought about this, and in the future, what I thought with these is I may actually dip them in beeswax or paint them in just beeswax before I even pour. So there is a thought to that, and I'm going to give it some thought, and I'm going to do some more research into it, but I'm really happy with them. Now, this is the label that I designed with the little fall leaves, and I'm calling it an autumn balm. What do you think? So I'm going to put these in the store. I think that they'll do well. Um, and right now, they're probably not needed. But it won't be long. <laughs> so see you then, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.